What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I want to do a super quick, super exciting video. I just wanted to do like a little experiment. I recently got the mermaid powder that everybody has been talking about. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's basically just this pigment powder that you rub over regular nail polish, it doesn't have to be gel, and it turns like white nail polish or whatever color you use into this crazy like mermaid pigment color. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I got it. It's from the What's Up Nail Store. This one's called the Aurora Pigment. I don't know if there are any other brands that are available, but this is the one that I have seen around. So this is the one I got. And I wanted to try it because I've seen everybody do it over a ton of different colors, but I have not seen anybody do it over holographic nail polish. And I actually also just got this brand new, well, it's not brand new in life, but it's brand new to me, <laughs> Starly Nail Polish called Magic Rainbow. And this is the most holographic nail polish I've ever seen in my life. And I've actually been wearing it the last week because I'm kind of obsessed with it. And I was like, what happens if you put this underneath the mermaid pigment? So did a little experiment, wanted to share it with you guys because it's pretty cool. It's also gonna be pretty quick. So let's just jump right into it. If you haven't heard of this mermaid pigment, I do wanna just go over really quickly what it's supposed to look like over white nail polish. So I did just do one nail where you just see what it looked like just as like a control to our, our experiment because we're scientists now. So. Roll footage. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions that What's Up Nails provided for this. I already have my base coat on. I am putting on my white nail polish, or you could use whatever base color you want. And then once that is a little bit dry, I'm gonna go in with some quick dry top coat. And I pretty much let that dry almost completely. So this is the powder and I'm just gonna really lightly dip my finger in it and that's pretty much enough for the entire nail. So what I'm gonna do with my mostly dry, pretty much almost totally dry nail is I'm just gonna start pressing it in and it does get messy. You might wanna work over a paper towel. I'm just gonna start pressing it in and then once I've got enough covered on the nail, I'm just gonna start rubbing it in to create that really nice crazy mermaid shine. So I'm just adding a little bit more as I go on but really the smallest bit goes such a long way. I feel like you guys can't even see the crazy prism of colors that this is right now because it is insane. I am going to top that off with the UNT peel off base coat. This is an instruction that was provided by What's Up Nails so that's just how I'm doing it and then once that is completely dry I am going to go in with my quick dry top coat once more just to seal everything in and make it look nice and shiny. The little specks of dust do get everywhere all over your cuticle and your skin so I definitely suggest just rinsing off which I did do and this is what the finished product looks like it's honestly I think it looks way crazier in real life my light boxes wash it out a tiny bit but it is gorgeous all right so now that you guys have seen that I want to show you guys what it looks like doing the same exact steps over the holographic nail polish so we can see if it's different or if it just totally masks the hollow I mean I already know but you guys are gonna find out <laughs> Okay, so once again, I already have my base coat on here and I am just going to use this Starly polish called Magic Rainbow. This is like the most holographic polish I've ever used. I know you can't tell right now because I have my soft boxes on, but it is so gorgeous. I wore it all week and I was just obsessed with how rainbowy and shiny and sparkly it was. Gorgeous. So I am just going to apply a layer of my quick dry top coat and once again I'm gonna let that dry pretty much completely just give it a few minutes and then I am going to take a little dab on my finger of this mermaid powder again and I'm going to start to press and rub it into my nail. So you can already tell it definitely looks different in natural light. It almost looks a lot darker. I guess I would say. And I feel like the color is a lot stronger too. I think that when you use darker colors, this mermaid pigment does show up a lot more pronounced and all the colors that are in it show up a lot more pronounced. Once again, I'm going to apply my UNT peel off base coat here. I don't know exactly what this step does, but I am just trusting the system here. <laughs> And then once that is dry, I'm going to seal everything in with my quick dry top coat. And then I am going to quickly rinse off my hands so that I don't have any of that dust left on me. And then this is what it looks like in my soft boxes. Of course, I wanna show you guys with some actual light so you can see that rainbow effect. And wow, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like holographic nail polish, but it's got this crazy purplish, greenish, blue tint to it. And then it still has all of that rainbow underneath. I, I was not expecting the change to be this prominent, but I am absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. All right, so basically, when you combine forces with mermaid pigment and holographic, it's 
it's crazy. Like honestly, when I saw it, I started freaking out. At first I was like, does it look the same as the holographic nail polish? And then, so I have this hand painted with just regular holographic, and this one is the holographic nail polish with the pigment over it. And I'm like, I don't know if you can tell on camera because I have my soft boxes on, but it is such a crazy difference. Like this is just a regular holographic rainbow scattered sort of effect. And this one has this crazy greenish pink sheen to it, but then the holographic looks so much stronger and so much more or unicorn -y. I don't know how to explain it. You guys can see it in the video. Honestly, I think even the video doesn't do it justice. It looks so crazy in real life. Highly recommend. Looking at it now, I'm like, I can't believe I wore this all week without the pigment powder over it because it looks that much better. Even if you're indoors and you don't see the holographic component, you still get that mermaid pigment. So ooh, I'm so glad I tried this. I feel like it looks awesome. So I think both of these are available from the What's Up Nail Store. This was a very successful experiment. But anyway, honestly, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys my cool findings and suggest that if you guys get this powder, which I know it's a little pricey, honestly, like it seems like it's such a small amount, but the truth is you use like one tiny little finger that you just dip in and you use that on your entire nail and you could probably use it for a couple of nails. I was just getting a little carried away with all my nails but a little bit goes a really long way. So this should last you a really long time. Hope you guys thought it was cool. Definitely let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I know I still have some more swatches coming and then after that, I am going to get back to Nail Polish Model 1 videos. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can hit that notification bell so you can see when I get new videos out because know, just don't forget, I have new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then now on Sundays, I am posting nail art tutorials so i got my nail art sundays and tuesdays and fridays so it's just always a party here so definitely subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you like the hollow thumb it up and i'll talk to you guys later Bye. what about this for a fun fact i own like over 30 choker necklaces <laughs> i don't know why i'm just obsessed with them and i feel like i always wear the same ones too in my videos but i have so many it's crazy i just don't have like a method of storing them they're all just like in the corner of the room just like on the floor laid out like in a row and i always just like pick the same ones but whatever all right talk to you guys later